God is in his holy place. God unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And welcome everybody to this weekend's Mass. Um, it's a great delight to be able to celebrate with you as always. And now that we're into the summer holiday time, uh, as you know, we generally have a break from all the music, so I thought we'd simply celebrate Mass fairly straightforwardly today. But with one exception, right at the end of Mass, and because of that marvellous video that the With You Always group and Much Wilton School put together for my jubilee, we're going to sing the Rolling Over the Ocean song at the end. So children, I want you to be primed and ready. And I also want the children just to listen carefully to the readings today, because even the Old Testament reading is, is really quite simple. Solomon has a dream, he's become the new king, and God asks him what he wants. And he doesn't ask for something for himself. He asks that he may be wise in judging between good and evil so that he can look after his people. Isn't that wonderful? So it reminds us uh, of what the gospel is also saying to us, because Jesus is saying, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So children, I want to think about treasure hunts. You know, at the beginning of the First Communion course, you always go for a treasure hunt around the church to find things. And children love treasure hunts. I, was, I love to watch the little ones before Easter when they're hunting for their Easter eggs out in the garden. And often we need somebody to just to tip us off, to give us a clue as to where to find the treasure. Well, Jesus is always giving us clues because the treasure he's talking about is the presence and the power of his spirit in our lives, making us loving and strong. And of course, that's what our song at the end is all about too. So there we are, we've almost had the homily right at the beginning of the Mass. But just let's pause for a moment and pray that the Lord will forgive us for the times when we've known we should have been doing something different to what we are doing, when we fail and when we sin, and ask our Lord for that peace that comes when he forgives us and when we forgive each other. So let's pray. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Um. The first reading is taken from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream and said, Ask what you would like me to give you. Solomon replied, O Lord my God, you have made your servant king in succession to David my father. But I am a very young man, unskilled in leadership. Your servant finds himself in the midst of this people of yours that you have chosen. A people so many its number cannot be counted or reckoned. Give your servant a heart to understand how to discern between good and evil. For who could govern this people of yours that is so great? 
It pleased the Lord that Solomon should have asked for this. Since you have asked for this, the Lord said, and not asked for long life for yourself or riches or the lives of your enemies, but have asked for a discerning judgment for yourself, here and now I do what you ask. I give you a heart wise and shrewd as none before you has had, and none will have after you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. My part I have resolved, O Lord, is to obey your word. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Lord, how I I love your law. Let your love be ready to console me by your promise to your servant. Let your love come and I shall live, for your law is my delight. Lord, Lord, how how I I love love your law. That is why I love your commands more than finest gold, why I rule my life by your precepts and hate false ways. Lord, Lord, how I love love your law. Your will is wonderful indeed, therefore I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. Lord, Lord, how I I love love your law. The second reading is from St Paul's letter to the Romans. We know that by turning everything to their good, God cooperates with all those who love him, with all those he has called according to his purpose. They are the ones he chose specially long ago and intended to become true images of his Son, so that his Son might be the eldest of many brothers. He called those he intended for this, those he called he justified, and with those he justified he shared his glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which someone has found. He hides it again, goes off happy, sells everything he owns, and buys the field. Again, The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he finds one of great value, he goes and sells everything he owns and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just in case you hadn't noticed him, he is here, Freddie Freckles, I know he always giving a little showing at the beginning of the Mass. But in a way, I want to concentrate really on on the young people in the parish today, in both parishes, Um, because there are a number of things which I think will link together when we think about this. Not least the fact that I've been given, whatever I've done with it, here it is, a list of those in the Justice and Peace Group, our junior Justice and Peace Group. Um, There are over 50 names here of people who are now achieving results. It's a bit like, I suppose, the sort of Catholic version of the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme. And I've been asked just to to congratulate all of them, which I will do again at the end of Mass. I'll read the names out and let you know about them. But, But I'm absolutely thrilled with this. And of course, some of you remember that uh, I think it was sometime last year, maybe it was even the year before now, time goes so fast, but um, we actually went down, 
a group of us to represent uh, our justice and peace group to a meeting at the Curzon Cinema in Soho, where Archbishop uh, Vincent Nichols, the Cardinal Archbishop of Westminster, uh, was giving out awards and, and addressing the group. And we got very special mention that day because of all the good work that's been going on. And uh, Sarah McGeehan and her group, I just want to, to thank her again for, for all the effort that she and, and the other team of parents uh, the tremendous effort they put in ever since we had that awakening day down in um, St. Julius School a few years ago. Uh, this was one of the great fruits of that. Um, and as the scriptures are saying to us, and as I sort of hinted at the beginning, when we think about this treasure that Jesus is talking to us about, we know what he's talking about. It's the thing which actually gives us joy and hope and peace and helps us to make sense of the whole of our lives. And in that second reading today from St Paul to the Romans, that was the, the next bit, if, you, if you've got good memories, um, two weeks ago uh, I mentioned that on our big feast day last week we were going to miss the bit where St Paul tells us, having thought about all the struggles of the whole of the universe, like, like a woman in childbirth, he says, and then he goes on to tell us that the Spirit is praying through us. And so in a sense we don't have to worry about finding words to pray. And then today, he says that for those who love him, God can turn everything to good. And, and we discover that treasure. And the treasure, as I say, we usually discover with the help of one another. And that's one of the, the great joys for me of the Junior Justice and Peace Group. You are helping one another discover what's really important in life. A bit like Solomon, it's not about getting what we can for ourselves, but what can we give to one another? And I notice uh, amongst those who are getting their awards and have reached certain levels, well, our two children from the Syrian family are, are among them. You've embraced them into this group, and, and you, I know how grateful they are to us um, that we've made it possible for them to escape all the suffering that they experienced before they were able to come to England. Uh, and they continue to tell us how grateful they are. But we are grateful to them because they're reminding us of what our own faith means, so that we can share that faith with other people like, like them, because they're not Catholics, they're not Christians, they're Muslims, and yet the Pope is reminding us that we should be reaching out and, and talking to everybody, all men and women of goodwill, and then we begin to see the goodness and the power of God at work, how God can turn everything to good, as St Paul says, how we discover this treasure. So today I really am in a very thankful mood. I'm thanking you again for the, the wonderful jubilee you gave me, albeit for the most part at a distance, but all those lovely messages and here in the community we had a lovely meal, as I mentioned in my message on Thursday. Um, and I just feel tremendously grateful. And once again, I've been seeing all these connections which make sense to me and help me to see how God can turn everything to good, even the bad times. So it's in that spirit that I want us to make our act of faith now and offer our bidding prayers and then we'll read the names at the end and, and then I want everybody ready to do the, uh, the Rolling Over the Ocean song, be ready with the actions. If you've got musical instruments, if you're drummers or if you've got tambourines or cymbals or whatever, be ready there to clash away. Uh, and I've just got this picture of all over the, the two parishes and indeed all over the world now because I know people are watching us from North America and from other parts of Europe and so on. It's quite exciting. Uh, what happens once you begin to go on air, as it were. Um, so there we are. Let's make our act of faith together and we'll pray, as usual, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Heavenly Father, we lovingly bring our prayers to you at this Mass, asking you to reach out and touch the lives of all those whom we present to you. 
We begin by praying as always for Pope Francis, for our Archbishop Malcolm, that they may continue to serve and lead us in the name of your Son, Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I'd like to pray for our schools and the teachers now that they've got a break. Ask you, Lord, to help them to enjoy the summer period and help us to be ready to cope with the challenges that will come in the autumn when we return to school. Lord, in your goodness, hear our prayer. That was always um, and a number of intentions. I want to remind you that we do keep putting the intentions here and Chris, um, Chris Reeds, who will be looking after the office for the next couple of weeks while Haley has a break, but um, she said you need a bigger basket. So we've got a bigger basket now and, and we've got uh, all the intentions going in here. I don't have to squash them down quite so much. Um, so let's just mention one or two of the intentions this week. Um, we continue to pray for baby Lucy Crow. We continue to pray for Sarah Peacock, the head of Our Lady of Good Help. Um, I'd like you to continue to pray too for Denise Moen, who uh, has been in hospital. Uh, and also somebody, I missed this message uh, over the last few weeks, but um, David Langton, her, his husband, uh, sorry, his wife, Margaret, uh, asked for prayers because he was having a serious operation. So we hope and pray, David, that that has been successful and you are recovering. Um, I'd also like to pray for Bertha Farrelly. She, we've been praying for Bertha quite a bit in recent times. Um, she had some very serious operations not long ago. And now this coming week, she's due for a serious heart operation. So she's come through the others wonderfully well. We pray for you, Bertha. We pray for the family. Um, I'd like to thank you for the prayers you've offered for uh, Father Andrew. He was in hospital since last Sunday morning. Um, some of the difficulties that can arise after the chemotherapy with his condition. But I'm happy to say he came home again on Friday afternoon um, and he's in good form. So we're hoping he's going to be OK with the continuing treatment now. Um, and they're going to look after him and they, the hospitals are just amazing. But he's grateful for the prayers. We continue to pray for him. There are some funerals this week I'd like to commend to you. Sister Mary Gallagher is going to be buried at St Mary's on Tuesday. Um, William Langergake, cake, um, his funeral is being looked after by Deacon Bernard at the end of this coming week. And I have Margaret Murphy's funeral here at Bishop Eden next Friday. So I think those are the intentions uh, that I'm aware of today. So I'm going to sort of pop all those uh, into the basket and we just pause for a moment and think of anybody else that we want to pray for in our own minds and hearts. Let's beg the prayers of our Blessed Lady, our Mother of Perpetual Succor, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we conclude with this prayer of Pope Francis. You, salvation of your people, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide, so that as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Dear Heavenly Mother, help us to live these difficult days filled with hope, with renewed unity, with a true spirit of obedience to what is required of us, with the certainty that after this trial we may arrive at the blessed and glorious hour of the resurrection. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of your hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. My brothers and sisters, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ, who is our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mega story of faith. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Praying in the best way we know, with words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now in our hearts and minds we offer you all the sign of peace and pray that peace may spread wherever we go. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. As you see me able to receive communion, I'm conscious that although some of you are now beginning to be able to come back to Mass, that this is still a great deprivation for many, some people shielding still, some not confident about coming out, so you mustn't be concerned. We continue to ask our Lord to bless you all, and we make with you a spiritual communion. Dear Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in Holy Communion. I love you and would love to receive you now, but since this is not possible, please come to me and fill me with all the blessings and graces I need to cope with everything that is going on. Unite us all and give us the peace which you promised only you can give. Amen. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now there's just um, 
One notice I've been asked to read on behalf of our CAFOD uh, group, and um, Tim Walsh, of course, has been heading that up and trying to get us to think more uh, greenly, as it were. Um, but we are very conscious that during this time of the pandemic that there are parts of the world that are really struggling. So CAFOD are making this appeal, which I just share with you, and if you're able to help, I'm sure you will. Millions of vulnerable lives are at stake as coronavirus spreads in refugee camps and countries suffering conflict. People who have been forced to flee their homes in places like Syria, and we've talked about our family from Syria, South Sudan and the Democratic uh, Republic of Congo are especially vulnerable. CAFOD has joined forces with the Disasters Emergency Committee to scale up its response to help protect these people who have lost everything. So you'll see the details of that on the website, but I'll just draw your attention to it as Tim asked me to. Um, it does remind me that uh, the whole financial situation we're going to have to look at. Some of you uh, have still just dropped in um, uh, envelopes or, or, or checks and so on. Um, I just ask you perhaps if you do mind holding on for the time being. We, we are managing to get them into the bank, but until we can sort out how we're going to proceed, um, I don't want to have collections at the moment for those of you who are coming to Mass. Um, I think we need a conversation. Uh, in both parishes, St Mary's and Bishop Eaton, about how best uh, we address what's happened and invite you to think about how you can continue to contribute. But as you know, I'm also concerned that some of you may be struggling financially at the moment, so we're certainly not going to put any pressure on. Um, I did say I was going to read the names of all these young people, so let me do that. Um, I'll try and get my names around. Most of them are pretty easily pronounced, but anyway, so congratulations to you all, and thank you for your good example. It's just terrific to have all these young people involved. So those due for gold awards now are Amy Hinton, Lucy Hinton, Beth Hughes, Anna Hughes, uh, Gabriel Abassi, Olivia Pinto, Jacob Raju, Amelia Smith, Olivia Smith, Kate Harris, and Sophia Bronskill. And then for silver, we've got Amelia Barclay, Samira Butt, Brona Carson, Elizabeth Harris, Max Leonteeth, Patrick McGeehan, uh, Gabriella Pinto, Liam Garber, Ellie Gavin, Megan Fitzgerald, Moritz Fisher, and Isabel Dunning. And for the Bronze Awards, we've got Kitty Dalton Cook, Roberta Dunning, Annalie Fisher, Millie Gallagher, George Carden, Daniela Obasi, uh, Taig McGeehan, and Anna Malafi. And then for their pins, we've got Marianne Bebb, Isla Davis, Angelina Fay, Abigail Grace, Isabella Harris, Hermione Hind, Harriet Hines, Philip Hinton, uh, Joanna Yuhash, Alice Jones, Adele Carlett, uh, Ola Carlett, Tessa Lake, Olivia Metcalf, Anna O'Brien, Lizzie O'Brien, Francis O'Brien, Joseph Pinto, Neve Scully, Martha Sumnall, Megan Templeton, J.B. Wafer, and Tom Wafer. So congratulations to all of you. We'll give you a big round of applause, James. Now. My thanks to James. It's, it's James's feast day this weekend as well, the, the great St. James. We think of Compostela and so on. So, wish him a very happy feast. Um, I said I was going to sing the song with you now, which we're going to do, so I'll give the blessing. And then I need to take off my chasuble, because otherwise it's impossible for me to do the rolling over bit, okay? So thank you for joining us for today's Mass, as always. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week. And remember now... We're having our first Masses on Sunday coming up, so here at Bishop Eaton tomorrow at half past nine, and then at six in the evening, St Mary's 11 o'clock. All the other times you'll find uh, on the website, across the pastoral area, there are 26 Masses this coming week, I think I'm right in saying, uh, and I quote the Dean, Father Stephen Pritchard, on that one. So just look up the Masses, there'll be Mass here at Bishop Eaton, 11 on Monday, six on Wednesday, six on Friday, and at St Mary's, at 7 o'clock in the evening on Tuesday and 12 o'clock on Thursday. So I hope I've got all that right. I'm pretty sure I have. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God. Now get all the instruments ready while I take my chasuble off. And here we go. And remember this song is telling us 
that we all help one another to build the family of God, okay? So here we go. It's me, it's me, it's me that builds the family, it's me, it's me, it's me that builds the family, it's me, it's me, it's me that builds the family, it's me that builds the family of God. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea, roll into my heart and build the family. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea, roll into my heart and build the family. Now it's usually rude to point, but not in the song, okay? It's you, it's you, it's you that builds the family. It's you, it's you, it's you that builds the family. It's you, it's you, it's you that builds the family. It's you that builds the family of God. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea, Roll into my heart and build the family. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea. Roll into my heart and build the family. Now it's all of us. It's us, it's us, it's us that build the family. It's us, it's us, it's us that build the family. It's us, it's us, it's us that build the family. It's us that build the family of God. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea. Roll into my heart and build the family. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea. Roll into my heart and build the family. And now love. It's love, it's love, it's love that builds the family. It's love, it's love, it's love that builds the family. It's love, it's love, it's love that builds the family. It's love that builds the family of God. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea. Roll into my heart and build the family. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea. Roll into my heart and build the family. It's Christ, it's Christ, it's Christ that builds the family. It's Christ, it's Christ, it's Christ that builds the family. It's Christ, it's Christ, it's Christ that builds the family. It's Christ that builds the family of God. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea. Roll into my heart and build the family. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea. Roll into my heart and build the family. Ready? It's me, it's you, it's us, it's love, it's Christ that builds a family. It's me, it's you, it's us, it's love, it's Christ that builds a family. It's me, it's you, it's us, it's love, it's Christ that builds a family. It's Christ that builds a family of God. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea. Roll into my heart and build the family. Rolling over the ocean, rolling over the sea. Roll into my heart and build the family. Well done, everybody. Thanks again to the With You Always group and to Bunch Walton Children for recording that for us. And there we are. We put it on tape at the end of our Mass today. Usually, I end an assembly with that and then I run for it and leave the teachers to pick up the mess. So, parents, have a good afternoon. God bless. Bye.